My name is Tyler Muto. I'm a dog trainer from Buffalo, New York, who specializes in dealing with dogs with behavior problems. This course is going to be about dealing with dogs who are leash reactive, specifically dogs who get explosive or reactive behavior when they encounter other dogs on a walk. However, the material could also be applied to dogs who are reactive when they see other people as well. The course is gonna be in 10 modules. Each module is about a week. Some of the modules are more robust than others and are going to require more practice than others. And so because of that, I've staggered the material a little bit. So after a more robust module, there will be an easier module so you can practice the material simultaneously. The pace of the course is designed to be applicable both for professional dog trainers, but also for dog owners who are actually dealing with this material on a daily basis or these problems on a daily basis. And so the pace of the course is gonna reflect that. I really wanted to approach this in such a way that even if you have no knowledge of dog training and have never trained a dog before, you're gonna get all the information that you need to build you up to be ready to handle your dog the same way I would handle the dog as a professional. We are also gonna cover a significant amount of theory about leash reactive dogs to help you understand what's going on behind the scenes inside of your dog's mind. And that material is gonna be extremely beneficial both for the person who's dealing with this stuff, but also for the professional trainer who wants to be able to explain leash reactivity to their clients more effectively and efficiently. We are going to have some people who take the course whose dogs respond very well to the early exercises that we do. There's gonna be others who don't start to see the results they need until later on in the course. I purposefully wanted to design this course to start with least invasive approaches to training first and then move towards more difficult or more invasive approaches to training. We'll be starting off without a lot of corrections or punishment or the use of aversives. And as we flow through the course, we will start to integrate those things in because we want to make sure that both the handlers and the dogs are ready to do that so that we're being fair to everybody involved. So we just want to prepare you guys for that so that if you're starting off in the course and the first few weeks you're really struggling, just hang in there because we're definitely going to get to more information that's going to be helpful to you. And we may find some folks who start to really get this stuff under control early on, but it'll still be extremely beneficial for you to stick through the entire course because you never know what might change in the future and you also never know what additional problems you might have with other dogs as you continue to own dogs or train dogs uh, throughout, throughout your life. In this course, we are not aiming for quick fixes. I'm really going to try to give you guys a solid understanding of the principles involved in rehabilitating dogs with these behavior issues to really help promote lasting success for both you and your dog. The other thing that we're not going to be doing in this course is we are not going to be covering true dog aggression. And what I mean by that is we're not going to be covering dogs in a socialization setting. In other words, dogs that are off leash and interacting with each other and that are getting into fights or having aggression issues in that context. That's a completely different subject matter that would warrant a course in and of itself. Uh, so this course is specifically dealing with dogs on leash at somewhat of a distance from each other and making sure that they can remain calm, cool, and collected and be able to encounter other dogs or people. So that's essentially uh, what we're going to be covering throughout this course. I really look forward to working with both you guys and your dogs as we go through these next 10 weeks. And without further ado, we're going to jump into the course material and start training some dogs.